Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to have all of you guys here. Today's video is dedicated to why your relaxed hair is breaking. I've already filmed one of these videos about a year or so ago, but I thought I would update it with new tips. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my updates. All right. Let's get into this. So I would say one of the main reasons that your relaxed hair is not thriving or the reason you're not retaining length is because you're over-processing your hair. I've talked about over-processing hair all of the time on this channel and just quickly, what it is is when you are either leaving the relaxer on for too long or overlapping your relaxers and that's where you not only put relaxer on your new growth you are putting it on already relaxed hair so over processing your hair causes dryness and damage and it weakens the hair by honestly making it too straight and breaking down those bonds even further than what the relaxer is supposed to do. You can tell that your relaxed hair is over processed if it looks dried out, fried, dull, you name it. The main way you can tell that your hair has been over processed is if it's breaking off. You look at the bathroom floor and there's little itty bitty pieces of your hair all over the place or all over your clothing. So be really careful when you are applying that relaxer to your hair. So the next reason that your relaxed hair is not thriving is because it's under processed. So under processing is sort of a double edged sword. A lot of people under process their hair on purpose and that's called texloxing. And it's actually a very healthy treatment. That's where you straighten your hair using a relaxer but you retain that beautiful texture and you don't straighten it out too much so the hair actually tends to be stronger. But if you are relaxing your hair to a bone straight state and then the next relax or a few months later, you are under processing your hair, you are causing weak points in your hair. So stick straight hair and then under processed hair, which has texture and then stick straight hair again, it can break at that line of demarcation where the stick straight hair meets the textured hair. So you have to really be careful before you set out to straighten your hair, decide whether or not you want really straight looking hair or you want some hair with texture and then just go with that because you don't want to cause those weak points in the strands of your hair. So the next reason why your relaxed hair can be breaking is because you're not taking care of your scalp. If you are noticing that your scalp is really, really dry, itchy, flaking, you need to start moisturizing your scalp regularly. If you are moisturizing your scalp regularly but still notice dryness, flaking, all dandruff, all of these things, maybe it's time to consult a doctor to see if you have contact dermatitis or some other skin condition that is contributing to an unhealthy scalp state. So healthy hair starts from within, honestly. You have to eat well, you need to rest, you need to drink a lot of water in order to have a healthy scalp and then your scalp needs to be healthy to produce that healthy hair. So be sure that you're keeping an eye on your scalp, cleanse your scalp regularly, moisturize your scalp with a hair grease or a hair moisturizer, whatever works for you, and that will cut down on dryness and you will start seeing your hair thriving at the root level. Something else you should do regarding scalp health is massaging your scalp regularly. Not only does it feel good, it boosts blood circulation to the scalp. And when that blood is rising to the scalp level, it feeds those hair follicles, again, creating healthy hair. So the next reason why your relaxed hair may be breaking is because you're not deep conditioning regularly. I cannot stress enough how important regular deep conditioning is to relaxed hair, to any hair really. You have to take the time to deep condition your hair, I would say, every single time you wash your hair. Unless you have fine hair, then it can get a little heavy. Deep conditioning puts that moisture and hydration back into your hair. Not only does it do that, it promotes detangling so that you're not over manipulating your hair. What I mean by over manipulating is, you know, fighting with the comb to get it through your hair or always playing with your hair or brushing it too hard, all of those things. You wanna keep your hair tangle free 
and hydrated. When the hair is hydrated, it's not dry, and if it's not dry, it will not break. So be sure to find a really good deep conditioner when that is thick and one that's full of beneficial ingredients to nourish your hair. Okay, I, like I can't stress that enough. When I wasn't deep conditioning my hair regularly, you could tell just by looking at it, it looked dull. It was breaking all over the place. It was really, really hard to detangle, to comb through the whole nine yards. Deep condition. So the next reason that your relaxed hair may be faltering is because you are not using treatments like Olaplex or protein treatments regularly. I started incorporating regular protein treatments into my hair care routine. I got the ORS olive oil protein conditioner and I only use it once a month. I mix some oils into it and I've really noticed a boost in my hair's health. That particular conditioner is really good and it leaves my hair very soft and feeling hydrated and moisturized. Protein treatments help rebuild those bonds in the hair that were broken down during the relaxer process. So it's just another way to boost your hair's health and your hair's strength. So be sure to find a protein treatment that works for you. Not all protein treatments work for everybody. Some protein treatments, just by their formulation, leave hair feeling sort of dry and sort of crunchy. That's bad. Don't use those. Find protein treatments that really help your hair feel soft and detangled. So another protein treatment that I like is Afogee's two-step treatment. This is an OG protein treatment, really easy to use and very, very effective. It's also a great price that anybody can afford and it's widely available. Another treatment that I swear by is Olaplex number no. three. This is a hair reconstructor. I use it the week after a relaxer and I find that it really leaves my hair feeling soft and stronger, if you will. Since I started using this, I've noticed a whole lot less breakage. So I form a little bowl with my hand and I pour a little in the center here, a little goes a long way, and then I smooth it into my wet, dirty hair. I like my hair more wet than damp. I feel that it, it works a little better when the hair's more wet. And then I leave it on my hair for 10 minutes and then I wash it out and then I deep condition my hair. So Olaplex is wonderful. I would recommend anybody try it. It's expensive, but every now and then you gotta invest in your hair. So another way to boost your relaxed hair's health is getting regular trims. You don't have to trim off an inch or two every single time you trim your hair, just dust your ends. And when I say dust your ends, have your hairstylist just snip off a little bit, just a little bit, so that you're keeping your ends healthy, but you're still seeing that length as your hair grows. If you do not trim your hair, you can get split ends which will travel up the entire length of your hair. like. I used to work in a salon and I would see people come in with some of the most damaged hair I've ever seen, like epic split ends. When you trim your hair regularly also, the ends look more full and thick and overall it looks healthier, okay? So be sure to trim your ends. I can't stress enough that people need to get over the fact of long hair being better than short hair. Those of you who are looking to boost the health of your relaxed hair should be getting regular trims and should be concerned with healthy hair, not long hair. Because frankly, when your hair is healthy, it'll eventually get longer if that's your end game. Just focus on the health of your hair. So another reason that your relaxed hair is breaking off is because you're not moisturizing and sealing. I have filmed an entire video on moisturizing and sealing. I will leave the link in the description box so that you can check it out and learn more about it in depth. But essentially, moisturizing and sealing is sectioning your hair off into a few sections like I usually do about six seven eight sections and get your favorite moisturizer and you moisturize each section and then you seal it with your favorite oil so the moisturizer that I really like that I swear by is Luster's S curl curl activating moisturizer this stuff not only is so effective at hydrating and moisturizing your hair it makes your regrowth so manageable and so tangle-free that stretching is easy. Again, I cannot stress enough how important 
finding a good moisturizer is and using it regularly. I myself moisturize my relaxed hair every other day. If I do it every day, it gets a bit like, you know, gunky and it's just too much, but every other day really works for me. And I would say moisturizing and sealing and deep conditioning my hair were the keys to my own healthy hair. So I really, really, really recommend that. It can really turn things around. So I should mention for sealing my hair, I use an avocado oil. I also love almond oil. I would recommend coconut oil, but like coconut oil doesn't work for all people. Like for instance, one of my good friends with relaxed hair, coconut oil makes her hair crunchy. So just find an oil that you like and use it. So again, um, an oil that I'm using right now is Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. This stuff is expensive and the bottle is very little, but it's really, really nice. It does a really great job. I feel it's sealing the hair and making my hair feel very soft, but please note it does contain silicones. So speaking of silicones, Silicones stick to hair and they build up after a while. That's why silicones are bad. And when they build up after a while, they dry out your hair. So the next step is using a clarifying shampoo to break up that buildup and wash it out of your hair. I use a clarifying shampoo probably every month, every month and a half. And they are essential because, like I said, they get rid of all of that buildup in your hair, lightening your hair up, and prepping it for deep conditioning treatments. I love Paul Mitchell's clarifying shampoo. I think it's clarifying shampoo number two or number three. I can never remember the exact names because they're so long, but it does such a great job. Now, don't be scared when you use a shampoo for the first time. Your hair will feel dry and stripped, but when you deep condition your hair, your hair will feel soft, lovely, and moisturized. And when you style your hair, the Paul Mitchell Clarifying Shampoo just lightens your hair up, gives your, let's say, curls great bounce. Let's say you curl your hair with a roller set or a curling iron or whatever, your hair will look so light and so shiny and so fabulous. It is a big recommend for me. So another reason that your relaxed hair might be breaking off is because you're overwashing your hair. I wash my hair once a week and that really works for me. With this tip, you need to play around and find a wash schedule that really works for you, but essentially you do not want to be washing your hair so much that it constantly feels dry or it looks gray or it's breaking. When you're washing your hair too much, you're stripping all of that good oil that your scalp produces, which essentially moisturizes your hair and you have to work twice as hard to put that hydration back in. So find a wash schedule that works for you, like I said, and don't overdo it. I don't think anybody should be washing their hair every single day unless you have like really fine limp hair. But I think most people can get away with washing their hair once a week or twice a week. When I run a lot, when I'm exercising a lot and I'm sweaty, my hair tends to get weighed down and starts getting a little funky that's when I'll start washing twice a week. But my sister, Erica the Naturalista, she washes her hair like every three weeks and that really works for her. So that leads me to my next point, which is underwashing your hair. So <laughs> not only is it gross, your hair cannot thrive if it's just, you know, weighed down with old product, oils, skin cells. All of that stuff needs to be washed away to clear the path for healthy hair growth. So another reason why your relaxed hair is breaking is because you're not wrapping your hair at night. Wrapping your hair at night with a silk scarf or a satin scarf is such an easy thing to work into your hair care routine. I don't know why people don't do it. Just find yourself a big enough silk or satin scarf if you have long hair, just take your comb or your brush and wrap your hair around your head. I've filmed a nighttime relaxed hair routine that I'll also link in the description box for you guys. And what I do is I put clips around my head when I've wrapped my hair and then I tie it up in my satin scarf and then I go to bed. If you don't want to wear a satin scarf or a satin bonnet to bed, get yourself a silk or satin pillowcase. And all of this cuts down on the friction that the pillowcase produces when you're tossing and turning at night. So not only will friction break off your hair, cotton pillowcases that are generally the norm will suck all of the moisture out of your hair, drying out your hair, leading to breakage. So 
It's an easy thing. Order a silk pillowcase or a satin pillowcase on Amazon. Pro tip, double up. Satin pillowcases also are really, really good for your skin. They will not suck the moisture out of your skin and they're really good at being soft and gentle with skin so that you do not see fine lines. So the next one is a biggie, and it's one of the main reasons why relaxed hair breaks, and that is relying too heavily on direct heat. So direct heat is using flat irons on your hair, curling irons, using a blow dryer too close to your hair. Heat is really, really detrimental to hair health because it just saps your hair from moisture. And then some people will put oils in their hair and then flat iron or use a curling iron and that's a double whammy. That's like deep frying your hair. So what I'm doing right now is just cutting direct heat out of my hair care routine, period. Now is the perfect time to do so. Under quarantine, like I have nowhere to go. I don't really have anybody to look good for. My husband loves me. <laughs> with or without makeup. So I'm finding right now is the perfect time to give my hair a break, tuck away my curling irons, my flat irons, and let my hair thrive. And let me tell you, I have been about two months now without direct heat, and oh my God, it's like I've had a head transplant. My hair feels so much softer. I see, I would see very little breakage but now I'm seeing no breakage. So I expect to retain some serious length over this quarantine process. So I would recommend to anybody, I love the look of flat iron hair, I love it. I love that silky, shiny, like silk pressed look. But every now and then you just gotta suck it up and embrace the texture of your hair and give your hair a break. So my next point that I never really thought of before, and I, I've seen this on a few hair health websites so far, is do not mix your relaxers. So let's say that you relax your hair at home and you've got relaxer left over from various kits, from various brands, so let's say Silk Elements, Mizani, whatever. You should not be mixing those relaxers together to produce enough to relax your whole head. The chemical composition should be nice and even throughout your relaxer, and you can't guarantee that when you're mixing these things together. So that could lead to over-processing your hair or some weird chemical reaction that you were not counting on or expecting. I would highly recommend that if you relax your hair at home, you buy a new kit each time or you buy like one of those big tubs to last you a few relaxers. Don't mix a whole bunch and, and make some weird relaxer cocktail. And the last reason why your relaxed hair may not be thriving and is breaking is because you're not doing an intensive hydration treatment or process, let's say the week after a relaxer. So as I've mentioned previously in this video, I like to use Olaplex a week after a relaxer. It's a hair reconstructor that rebuilds the bonds that are broken through the relaxer process, and that's really worked for me. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing, and I just see a boost in my hair's health, you know, the weeks after a relaxer. It's really beneficial. Another intensive hydration treatment that you can do is just doing a really, really good, heavy, deep condition a week after a relaxer. So you could take your favorite hair mask, deep conditioner, and add oils to it, and then apply to your hair, and then go that extra step and arm yourself with a heat cap. Put the deep conditioner on your hair, wrap it up with plastic, a plastic bag, whatever you wish, and then add that heat cap. The heat speeds up the deep conditioning process. It opens up the shaft of the hair so that that conditioner can really penetrate your hair strands. When I was using a heat cap regularly, I just felt that my hair was thriving and then it broke and I've been slacking on getting a new one. Like I am that girl who goes on Amazon to buy a new damn heat cap and ends up buying dresses and shoes and purses I don't need because I must be stopped. Just get yourself a heat cap. So guys, I hope that this video helps. I realized the first video, the uh, filming quality was really crappy. So apologies and I really hope you like this new video. I hope it's easier to watch. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And if you have any relaxer questions, feel free to email me at styledomination.com. Bear with me. As my social media platforms grow, it's a little hard to get back to everybody in a reasonable amount of time, 
but I will get back to you. You can also DM me on Instagram at dominique.baker or at Style Domination. I also have a blog, styledomination.com. Feel free to subscribe to it, read it daily, whatever. If you have a friend who is struggling with her relaxed hair, share this video with her. I would love that. And join my Style Domination Relaxed Hair Society on Facebook. This group is growing. The relaxed hair discussions are thriving. I am learning so much. I am making new friends. The girls in this group are lovely. Shade, huge shout out for helping me moderate the group. Anyways, I love you guys. Stay at home, wash your hands, and stay safe. See you in the next video.